how did you feel when you created your first login form on a web page after so many trials and tested templates? How did you feel when you give the layout to your first web application after multiple changes? Yes, you took the reference of some other website or template as per requirements. How did you feel when you successfully handled thousands of user sensitive information at the back end to build an application? Most of the developers go through all the above phases and initially it might be frustrating for some of them. But the overall feeling is really exciting and amazing when they see their website is live and people are using it all over the world. A full stack developer is responsible for so many tasks from gathering requirements to designing a website, handling its back end part and also making it live and successful for users. Every year new technology and tools are coming out in industries to boost developers' productivity and to make the website better for users. It becomes challenging for them to stay on the top of the development game. Today we are going to discuss a complete roadmap to become a full stack developer in 2022. This will be a practical guideline for all kinds of developers. To begin with, here I'm gonna list some of the basic tools and softwares for full stack development. A computer and operating system. You can't write code without a computer system and operating system running on it. To learn full stack development, you pretty much don't need any kind of fancy computer. You can use any kind of mid-range laptop or desktop. For the operating system, you can use Mac OS, Windows or Linux, whatever is comfortable for you. Secondly, you need a text editor. No doubt, VS Code is good for most cases and most languages. It has good performance, great extension, built-in terminal, and ton of features as well. Most of the IDEs or text editors have the ability to add extensions or plugins that are very helpful in boosting productivity and building web apps. For example, VS Code extensions in Visual Studio Code helps in downloading extensions such as live server then you need a web browser most developers first choice is either chrome or firefox chrome is fast and it uses v8 javascript engine both browsers have fantastic dev tools to troubleshoot the issues in development other web browsers to get familiar with are safari edge and brave then the terminal you will be working a lot with the terminal command line interface using some system commands it is the most popular free and open source tool that helps in collaborating with other developers and managing your code. You have some other options such as GitLab, Bitbucket and some other ones as well. Then we have design. Not everybody needs to learn this. In companies, there are specific teams to make images, logos or sketches. But if you are a front-end developer or you are working as a freelancer, then you may need to learn Adobe XD, Photoshop, Sketch or Figma. To begin your journey to become a full stack developer, we recommend you start with HTML and CSS because they are the basic building blocks of full stack development. No matter how advanced your web app is or what frameworks and backend language you are using, you will have to build your front end application using HTML and CSS. So, this is the first thing to learn in full stack development. There are a lot of popular CSS frameworks available to use. Some of them are Bootstrap, which is the most popular CSS frameworks to learn. Learning Bootstrap helps in learning other frameworks as well. Terrawind CSS is another framework that is gaining popularity and it is a little different from the others. Material UI Based on material design, this framework is a combination of HTML, CSS and JavaScript. This is also a very helpful and popular library to design your front-end application. After learning HTML and CSS, the next thing you need to learn is JavaScript. It is very important for developers to have good command of JavaScript fundamentals. You will be using a lot of JavaScript with server-side languages such as PHP or Python. And learning this language is much needed if you want to work with React, Angular or Vue 
or any other JavaScript library. Frameworks allow you to do more advanced front-end development. It gives you a lot of advantages such as reusable components, more organized UI or page interaction. So using a framework saves a lot of time. Pick up a front-end framework to enhance your skill and try to choose one which most companies are using in the present scenario. React library is the most popular to learn for full stack development. It was developed by Facebook and it's fairly easy in comparison with other frameworks and libraries. There are a lot of jobs available for React developers as well. Secondly, we have Vue, which is also gaining popularity and developers can prefer to learn Vue as well. Vue is the easiest to learn in comparison of React and Angular. Angular, which is also a front-end framework and is generally used in large organizations, it was developed by Google and it has a pretty steep learning curve. We have discussed the majority of front-end development tools and technologies. Now let's talk about languages and technologies to run the back-end of full-stack development. You should have the knowledge of at least one server-side language like Node.js, Python, Java, or PHP. Please note that whatever server-side language you prefer to learn, make sure that you learn about the data structures and algorithms using that language. Data structures and algorithms will help you to render your data for the user and it will help you to optimize your code in web application. Once you learn one server-side language of your choice, go with one of the frameworks for your language. You can choose one of the given options below. Express and Nest.js for Node.js, Django or Flux for Python programming language, Spring MVC and Grails in Java, Laravel or Slim for PHP. Most web apps need a place to store data, but it's totally up to you to choose which database you want to choose for your application. We are going to discuss some popular databases for 2022. Relational databases. RDBMS are still the most popular database and are still most preferred to use. No SQL such as MongoDB and cloud database such as Firebase and AWS. Now let's talk about deployment and DevOps. Hosting a full stack app is a bit more complicated than just front end application, especially when you have databases. Make sure that you know how to use the command line interface for deployment. In most companies, there is a different team working on DevOps. So it's completely optional to have knowledge of DevOps. You can learn that if you are working on your own project. Finally, all the above technologies, tools are good enough to make you a front end, back end, or a full stack developer. Don't get overwhelmed with the content we have just mentioned in this tutorial. You don't have to learn everything. Choose the right set of tools and technologies as per your end goal. Learn the fundamentals and necessary technologies and we recommend watching tutorials, read the documentation, but be sure that you get your hands dirty in the coding. Make your own project based on what you've learned. So with that in mind, this brings me to the end of this tutorial. Make sure you hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe for more upcoming content. See you and as always. Take care.